Welcome to this demonstration of performing a drop test using Autodesk Simulation Mechanical. We'll use this gaming controller as an example of how to set up this scenario. We'll run the drop test study on the casing by itself and enter the Simulation Mechanical interface right from the Simulation tab in the Inventor ribbon. Here we can begin the setup for a mechanical event simulation. We'll start by meshing the controller or break it up into several pieces to be analyzed. The material has already been applied from the CAD model and can be solved using nonlinear settings in cases where there is residual stress and displacement after impact. Traditionally, the process of setting up a drop test involved the manual setup of entering in the event duration and time steps, load curve information, gravity, as well as the impact plane. All of this can now be done in an intuitive drop test wizard. Simply specify the height, gravity, and direction. The impact plane is automatically created and can be modified right here in the wizard. Next, specify the initial velocity or assume the object is stationary when the model is dropped. Finally, three sets of time steps are created automatically, focusing on impact. Each row can be changed, or in our case, we'll use the default settings. Now we can run the solver and view the results. Starting with an animation of the results, we're observing the elastic wave passing through the model after impact. These plots are capable of displaying the stress or displacement results. Let's take a look at the inside of the model, where we'll find more detailed features that make up the structure of the controller. By hiding the bottom two components, we can continue the animation and observe the behavior of the screw bosses, ribs, and walls around each of the buttons and joysticks. Taking it a step further, it may be helpful to exaggerate the deformation in order to visually determine areas in the design that can be improved for stiffness. Remember that any changes made in the CAD system are remeshed and analyzed in Simulation Mechanical for updated results. Let's take a look at displacement. Graphs can also be created simply by selecting locations of interest on the model. Plot several types of results, such as the displacement you see here, as well as the velocity, acceleration, and stress. As you have seen in this demonstration, Autodesk Simulation Mechanical provides an intuitive interface for drop test scenarios.